从来没见过的 KO 招式，把对手掌握在手中，想怎么打就怎么打。一个用肩部 KO， 一个手搂住脖子砸头直接 KO， 一个在被 KO 的同时居然成功 KO 了对手。让我们开始格斗的奇幻之旅吧！想知道怎么一手搂住脖子砸头，把对手掌握在手中，想怎么打就怎么打吗？比赛是由草原雄鹰伊布格勒对战金刚狼沙伊兰。金刚狼沙伊兰是姚洪刚的高徒，而伊布格勒是一个张狂的内蒙小伙。他获蒙古教博客的冠军，还骂过沙伊兰的师傅，说姚洪刚因为惧怕他，不敢和他打一场。沙伊兰是个 KO 老手，这一次他要捍卫老师的尊严。是同一个俱乐部，呃，沙伊兰的抱摔非常好，并且这样。比赛一开始，沙伊兰和伊布格勒没有直接动手，而是隔空试探对手。第一轮的比赛，我们现在所在的位置是在广东省珠海市行情国。伊布格勒率先动手，把对手打得脚步不稳。沙伊兰躲过伊布格勒的勾拳，回身一记重拳直击面门，瞬间压上去暴揍。一手搂住脖子，一手疯狂砸头，直接 KO。就连解说都来不及说话，这一切发生的太快了。沙伊兰只用了二十一秒就 KO 了对手，沙伊兰成功击败了对手，捍卫了自己和师傅。KO 获胜。被别人勒住脖子还能反杀，蒙古大将告诉你什么叫做从来没见过的 KO 招式。他是被蒙古政府公认的蒙古战神贾丹巴。此次的对手是这位浑身纹身、酷似黑社会大哥的选手——无面人朴光哲。在一次迎击中，贾丹巴蝎子摆尾击中朴光哲，踹飞朴光哲。Once again, but easier said than done, as he's pinned up against the wall of the cage as well as still pressed up against the back of the cage. Though it's still Jadamba who has the advantage here, pressing for that advantage. When he gets into that clinch up against the cage, is really kind of sucking the energy out of Boku. Good right hand from Jadamba. These single punches that he's throwing, these overhand rights. Energy is exerted by both. You know, a lot of people see Boku just standing up against the cage, but no, that's a battle. That's a constant. Boku still immediately runs out, you know, immediately takes the center of the cage, still showing that he's in this. So it's still anybody's game, and there's still a possibility of that LG. Piao Guangzhou 战力占到了便宜，注意。Is contained in a knockout punch, but it would have landed. Piao Guangzhou 压迫性进攻，贾丹巴还以高扫踢，朴光哲后撤躲过，砸拳效果不大。So enjoyable to see a stand-up contest that Boku is involved in. Jia Danba 突然下前抱腿摔，结果反被控制。朴光哲单手夹头，初步断头台成型。Grab that single leg, sucked it in, spun around the corner, and put him onto his back, and immediately passed the guard into side control. What really? 就在所有人都以为朴光哲要赢的时候，朴光哲的表想知道一个人是怎么在被 KO 的同时还能成功 KO 了对手吗？这是一场 L F 2 5的 M M A 规则比赛，美国印第安纳州印第安纳波利斯举办。主角之一是肖恩帕克，他的战绩不是太优秀， 1 2场比赛他赢了5场。在这场比赛之前是两连胜的状态。和他相比，泰勒布莱恩就是个纯粹的新手了，他只打了一场比赛，也只赢了这一次。但是他们都创造了历史，在比赛开始的第八秒，他们仿佛心有灵犀一样，同时打出来一记右勾拳，他们两人立即倒地不起。他们简直是一举在 MMA 历史上留名。
。幸运的是，在赛后两个人很快就醒了过来，这就是历史上第一次双重淘汰赛。更加，这里是拳击队的胖，喜欢就点赞关注我吧，我在下一支精彩影片等你。